Well, the next time you pass a CDOT truck on a construction site, you might notice there's no driver. Yeah, might might How freak you out work? a little yeah. at first. Uh, CDOT actually has two of these and is working to get more. And here's a look at one of those trucks in action. Look at that. No driver behind the wheel there. CDOT uses driverless technology that's been installed in an attenuator truck. Those are the trucks that follow work crews around uh, to protect them by absorbing the impact in the event of a crash. Before now, these trucks would normally have a person behind the wheel and that person would be at risk if someone crashed into it. CDOT's been testing these attenuator trucks that are, are, are automated. They basically, what, drive for themselves? Are these like uh, Teslas that, that have the self-driving technology on them? Do they, do they look no. like any other attenuator truck? What what they are is they're they're basically regular attenuator trucks that are outfitted with um, equipment. There's a lead truck that's equipped with some technology as well, and that lead truck basically drops something called electronic breadcrumbs. Um, and if you can imagine a a virtual version of Pac-Man, um, the the truck drops these breadcrumbs, these electronic breadcrumbs, and then the attenuator truck basically scoops them up like Pac-Man and just sort of follows the trail. Yeah, the driverless trucks are currently being used uh, for paint striping projects. There's one in Northeast Colorado from Lyman to Greeley. Another is down south in the Alamosa area, uh, mainly in rural areas to start until CDOT sees how they perform and then they could bring them to more populated areas like the Denver Metro.